manage Deborah Stock, I own Direct Carers and DC Training. So in 2006, um, a partner and I decided that we would move back to Hull, which is where I was born, to open a, a care agency. And that went really, really well, until about 2008, when my grandmother got very, very sick. And it was at that stage that we had to use a domiciliary service or a home care service that you might be familiar with knowing it like that. It was awful. The experience itself was just awful. People were coming late if they turned up at all. Um, when they came, they didn't understand what my grandmother's needs were. It was just destroying. Fortunately, before she died, we took over the care, but it made me determined that I wouldn't let it happen to anybody else. So I spent about a year researching domiciliary care, home care. It was called C-Sky then, you'll now know it as Care Quality Commission and the standards that we had to have in place in order to operate that sort of system. Uh, we won that in April 2009 and we started servicing East Rand New Yorkshire Council during that time too and it's just grown and developed from there. The biggest inspiration for me in direct care is obviously my grandmother, you know, making sure that, that nobody ever faces what they've done as well. But there's been two other people in my life that's been made a real impact. A chap called Max Becker, my child's actually named after him. And uh, he was the first guy that I worked with in sales. He was a lunatic, he kept throwing things around and talking about networking and not wasting money and getting to the right person and being in bubbles and stuff. But I was fascinated by it. And, and the way his drive and enthusiasm, it, it, unbelievable bowled me over. The second person that's been a really big inspiration is a chap called Martin Goodyear. I worked very closely with him in coaching. He's just amazing, you know, his, his mantra of asking better questions is just an incredible thing to, to put into your business, to help it develop. Am I asking the right questions? Is what I'm doing today taking me closer or further away from my goals? You find inspiration from all around you, all the other people that you work with and other entrepreneurs that you know, and you think, you know what, if they can do it, I can as well. And you just get on with it. I think one of the biggest influences in, in growing my company has been uh, the introduction of a coaching culture. So. That means that everybody now works together to the same goal. So everybody knows what they want to do and what they want to achieve. Our hashtag, if you like, is making a difference. So we make a difference in people's lives by caring for them in their own homes. We make a difference in people's lives by um, giving them first aid, proper quality first aid training and manual handling training and that sort of thing. The one thing that you never can get wrong is people because it's the people that make the complete difference in your business. They are there from the front and they're there at the end of the, whether it's a, so, a service or a product you're delivering. If your people are not looked after properly, not mentored properly, not motivated in the right way, the business will fail. And therefore they need, everybody needs to be following the same vision. They need to understand the mission statements, the complete goals of the business. Without that, might as well pack it up and start again. <laughs> There's been a lot of ups and downs in my business, but as an entrepreneur, you have to pick yourself up and get on with it. And actually, sometimes when the downs are really happening is when the real power of entrepreneurial ship or whatever the word is, comes out. Because you really, really find tenacity to get on with it. Really, really hit those goals and not let anybody, you know, get the better of you. There are lots of lows working for yourself, lots of lows. Um, lots of knockbacks, lots of sometimes missed opportunities sometimes risks you've taken that has not quite worked out but then there are the highs and when they come they're amazing and they can be as subtle as a testimonial from a client or a thank you card from somebody that you've been looking after which you know always makes me smile the biggest achievement so far is getting care college commission registered that was just amazing because they come and they they look at every little bit of your business check it all over make sure that you're working as they want you to work, make sure and all the checks are done and everything's ready and we've got a really good grade. So that was absolutely buzzing. That was probably one of the highlights and long may it continue. It's always a very difficult decision to make to, to go into business, particularly if you're working somewhere and that you want to leave that job and go into your own business. It's never going to be easy. You've got to work hard. Hard work is the only thing that pays off in the end. I would suggest that if you want to do something, that you get some advice from the members of FEO for a start, and that you maybe work it as a back programme for a little while until it can, until it's proved itself, so it's taken its first steps, and then you can leave your work. But be safe, be secure, speak to good people. Don't be frightened to pick up the phone and speak to somebody at the FEO. They're there to help. The entrepreneurs that are involved in FEO really want to help. That's the best piece of advice I can give you. Ask for help.